Hello Linux fans, Rob here. I want to do a quick overview of Ubuntu 16.04.1, I believe. I'll put that in the uh, video notes um, as well as description. Uh, the purpose for this video is not to do a review of Ubuntu. I think most people um, are aware of Ubuntu and if you're new and you're looking at Linux, um, Ubuntu is usually the first distro that you hear about and that you uh, watch reviews of so I won't rehash that. The purpose for this is, is I have an 11 inch uh, Windows tablet. It's a Dell uh, with an Intel, uh, basically a, an Intel system, uh, video card, sound card, etc. So with a, an 11 inch tablet I wanted to find a distro that would really be tablet friendly and I initially tried um, Manjaro Deepin with the uh, Chinese Deepin desktop and thought that that would be a good option and unfortunately it was not and there's several reasons, won't get into it now, several reasons why that just did not work out to be a good uh, tablet desktop so next thought was uh, Ubuntu and Unity and so I want to go over uh, how I set up Ubuntu to work with the tablet for the most part it is successful there are a few things that I still need to dig into to improve for touch interface so I'll step through some of those now there are a few things you're going to want to do um, when you have Ubuntu installed uh, go to uh, software manager and install uh, Unity Tweak Tool and that is going to allow you to go in and uh, work with things like your theme not that that matters for your interaction as far as a tablet is concerned it will let you go in and, and theme your icons but it will also let you go in and adjust font and the text scaling factor. Now there's two ways to do this um, well two ways that I'm aware of to do this you can go into the font section under Unity Tweak Tool and scale your text from there and you want to be careful you don't want to bump it up too much I have it scaled up to 1.56 now so that uh, viewers of the video on phones and small tablets will be able to see it and um, and it worked out fairly well you can also go in and adjust um, the launcher and that allows you to bump up in the launcher here on the left the unity launcher that allows you to go in and, and bump up the uh, icon size and make that friendly for touch so I'm going to scale that back down to default which I believe comes in around 38 to 42 so you can see the difference here I've got this bumped up to 52 and that just makes that a much better touch interface and um, you can also choose an option to hide the taskbar or hide the the unity panel excuse me so uh, unity Tweak tool will also allow you to go in and change things such as um, 24 hour time to 12 hour time, some tweaks in the calendar, uh, what you want to show in your taskbar up top. So that gives you some control here. So that's number one. And you can also change your your desk your virtual desktop switcher lots of options here with the unity tweak tool so I highly recommend you install that I'm not fond of the standard uh, Ubuntu look so I went in and did some theming and if you look up Ubuntu Kylan I believe that's how it's pronounced if not forgive me but look up Ubuntu Kylan and that is a Ubuntu distribution for Asia for the Asian market and if you look at that icon and that interface, um, it's kind of reminiscent of what you'll find, uh, you know, on your Android phone or a lot of Android um, overlays. Anyway, I like it better than uh, just personal preference. Like it better than 
the stock uh, Ubuntu look. So I will put a link in the video um, notes where you can do a one-click install of the Ubuntu Kylan um, interface, which would include actually it's it's the icons, it is the um, boot screen, and and that sort of thing. For the actual overall theme for the for the top taskbar and for the windows, I used Arc, and I'll also put a link in there for that. And to me, I just I like the look. The other big thing when you're using a tablet is how are you going to work with the tablet? So if you do not have a dock, a keyboard dock, or an attachable keyboard of some kind, or a Bluetooth keyboard, you have to work with um, the text. So Ubuntu has a a uh, keyboard built in, and we're going to show that. Now the size that you see this keyboard is not the default size, and I'm going to scale that down to what you will see and the way I'm doing that is I'm hitting the um, menu here on the enter key press and hold and you'll see settings and then you'll see a four-way arrow which then allows you to increase or decrease the size of the keyboard so that size there that you're looking at now is is kind of the standard and um, I didn't go online and research it, just kind of fooled around a little with the keyboard and figured out, hey, there's got to be a way to adjust this thing up. And, and so sure enough, press and hold on the enter key. See a four-way arrow, and that will allow you to increase the size of the keyboard and make that a much better user interface. So that works fairly well. Um, you can also set the keyboard up to automatically pop up whenever you are in a text field. So not quite as user friendly as you'll find on you know a nice Android tablet, um, but it gets you close. Now I happen to have a dock attached to this tablet, and for the most part that may be the way I use it. But for the times when I want to use it as a uh, a tablet this interface is pretty close. One issue and um, let me just open a file here, file manager. So as you can tell now the keyboard is not going to go down or is not going to hide on its own so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide that. One of the issues as far as touch is concerned is the window bars are the, the X minimize, maximize, and close is still extremely small and I could not find a way to really tweak that within unity tweak or any other tweak tools I did uh, come across an article about using compiz um, settings to increase that but uh, the, the problem there is is if you don't know exactly what you're doing in those settings you can really hose your system up to where it's it's not usable and um, sure enough I did that so uh, messing around with something I wasn't that familiar with caused me to have to reload so just be aware of that if you come across that article um, just make sure you know exactly what it is you're changing before you before you do it I uh, also tried to increase the uh, file manager folder size and was somewhat successful here in list view but if you go into uh, icon view for whatever reason it may be an issue with the theme it may be an issue with unity um, I would go in and, and try to change that setting to increase the font size as you can see now I have it at, at 150 and it, and it doesn't change anything what it does let's let's take that back down that's not changing anything now. So I was unsuccessful there. So you may want to mess around with that, but the list view is an improvement, and I'm touching the screen now. As you can see, this is no, there's no cursor there, so you can interact fairly well that way. Again, just no cursor, just touching the screen. So, but the problem lies when I want it lies in when I want to close a window. So window management may be an issue there for touch. Uh, the settings 
the, the standard settings in Ubuntu do provide something that uh, I wish were in more um, Linux setting menus, which is under display. It's a hard way of saying that, but uh, what you'll find under scale for menu and title bars, again, it doesn't change the X for closing. It doesn't change the uh, dash size or anything like that for minimizing or maximizing. Uh, so we've got this scaled up to 1.5 and it's still relatively small for touch. But the nice thing is, is I can scale this in increments. So now that's, that's standard. And a lot of Linux desktop settings allow you to go from one and then it jumps you up to two, which is just too large. So Ubuntu is doing something here that gives you a lot more control over scaling the title bars. So we're going to scale that up just to see what it looks like here up to about 1.5. Yeah, there we go and let's see what we get. So that's that's a little improvement. Uh, at, at any rate you're going to want to go in and scale that up. If your goal is to set up Ubuntu to work with a tablet you're going to want to scale that up. Um, you want maybe start at 1.25 and then work your way up and see if that works for you. All right, so we're going to keep that configuration. Now, once you have scaled the screen, it's it's um, I believe also scaling the font size. So let's just click on menu here. So you can see there that's very legible. But if um, if you have a long description, uh, you wind up with uh, two levels there so maybe you want to scale that down so that's on one line as opposed to two alright so I want to continue to tweak this see how it um, see what the ultimate tablet experience is with Linux um, may try a few other distros to see uh, what what would be the ultimate tablet desktop and so far Unity is um, is really the the way to go as far as I can tell. Uh, I may try KDE just to see uh, what the potential is for KDE. There's a tremendous amount of customization within the KDE desktop so who knows maybe that'll maybe that'll work out. Alright that's about it. I hope this has helped. If you are working with the tablet currently and you're, you're playing around with the Linux and you haven't tried Ubuntu, I would recommend for your tablet to go ahead and, um, and give Ubuntu a try with the um, Unity interface. Alright, we'll catch you next time.